47 pound Majuro weight loss, my Majuro 10 milligram update. I feel like garbage. <laughs> I feel like garbage. I did my 10 milligrams of Manjaro last night and I don't feel well today. And so I've got for you today seven tips for when you don't feel well with Manjaro of what to do. Normally come on here, I'm bubbly, I'm in it, I'm excited for life, and today I just don't feel well. And I wanna tell you what I'm doing, so hopefully it will help you on your Manjaro weight loss journey. If you don't know me, hi friends, I'm Elizabeth, I'm Countess of Shopping, and where Royal Living meets real life, make sure down below I've got a ton of free resources for you in the description link, 125 protein ideas for you, my free Manjaro weight loss success checklist, my free Manjaro encouragement group, I do have a paid encouragement group if you want more in depth hand-holding and encouragement and accountability, but all are welcome at both tables, either free or paid. Let's dive in. Number one, I did my shot last night. I woke up at 3 a.m. and I just felt gnarly. I don't feel well. I'm tired right now and I know that's because I didn't sleep well. Um, and so what I'm doing for my solutions, if I could sit in this yuck and I'm planned to, that's tip number one, I'm gonna go back to bed. <laughs> this I was like I'm gonna go tell and it hopefully help encourage you give you some of my tips because I've been through this enough this is week I don't know what is it week 18 19 somewhere in there I have plateaued with my weight um, if you notice from my last video I've been hovering which is it's amazing by the way native uh, 47 pounds I've been there for week 17 and I believe this is week 18 I'm not super great about continuously like regimently tracking so I've had a weight stall this past week and so I switched where I did my injection into my arm and in the directions for Manjaro in injections, it says for the Manjaro pen that you should be rotating locations. So thigh, stomach, arm. It says that in the direction. I was like, is that new? I know it's not new. I don't know why. Like I haven't been rotating every single time. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to be doing that. But I had my husband inject the back of my arm um, because the directions say to have somebody else do it for you. So I had him do it. I had done it previously myself and that week that I did it myself, I don't feel like I put it in the right location, like with where the purple is. And so for this Majero 10 milligrams, the Majero injection, my husband do it and I know it was in the right spot. So I am feeling it. I am feeling it. And this is one of the things with Majero side effects or with Majero update. If you're starting your first week of Majero, Majero 2.5 milligrams or Majero 5 milligrams or wherever you are titrating up, some if, as you go through the titration, you may get side effects that you haven't had before. I had had, um, at the beginning, severe leg cramps, which is not apparently a Manjaro side effect, but it really is, but Manjaro said it's not, um, and headaches. I didn't have the nausea at the beginning. That came, like, I, like, the, like these different side effects or gastrointestinal things. Like, so if you're having sulfur burps, I haven't had that yet, God willing, um, but some of y'all have, a lot of y'all have. Um, and tell me in the comments below, what have the side effects have you experienced? I'm super curious, if any, and I love hearing when people are like, I haven't, I haven't had any side effects. I'm like, woo! But so number one, I'm gonna go back, my solution is I'm gonna go back to bed after this and I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna give myself the grace and give myself permission to allow my body to feel what it needs to feel. It's had a foreign thing injected into it and just rest. I know that there is privilege in that, of that for some occupations, you don't have that option with kids or caretaking maybe for an elderly parent or other things where you don't necessarily have that, but best you can under the circumstances that you can allow your body the ability to rest. And so for me, that also comes with planning on my shot day. I usually give myself, that's number two, is scheduling 24 to 36 hours for side effect grace. It's my side effect grace. Like there's this like safety net of side effect grace. Give yourself side effect grace, 24 to 36 hours. That for me has been helpful where I don't overload my schedule. I intentionally keep my schedule loosey goosey. I intentionally try to just chill out and that's really helpful for me. Tip number three, I have next to me my Stanley. I have 40 ounce tumblers. And I have, by the way, I will link all of my tumblers down in the description link below. I have a Stanley tumblers link down below. I have, there was a massive one that's on sale uh, on uh, this week that I will link down below. It's a uh, less expensive version. Get a 20 ounce tumbler that can fit into your car cup holder and that's easy to carry. I love this format. I love the straw with it. I just love it. So having plain water, tip number three, having plain water. Tip number four, I mean, like, I, I'm keeping it simple. Tip number four is I have showed you guys before my loose skin creams. They're not male curl workers, but they certainly do help. But today, I'm not having that one. I'm actually having this one, which is the Baja Fleur. Baja, yeah, Baja de Fleur. It's elastic cream because it smells amazing. And I'm just putting lotion on my hands. I'm literally just putting lotion on my legs. Just, and some extra TLC 
this smells good so my senses of smell and touch and putting a little on my hand cream on there it's my it's it's it helps to firm um it's got collagen in it yeah it's the elasticity boosting collagen and so i like it in general just because i use it for my loose skin having lost 47 pounds with manjaro weight loss it's a great thing to have um in general that i'm using this one is the one i normally recommend but today i wanted to have the scent with this and i love it i love it i will link that down in the description link below um it's awesome and it feels nice just like that soothing self-care self-love it smells good um that's my next tip next tip so what was that tip number four tip number four. this is where i forget where i'm counting i'm like i have seven tips but then i'm like what number am i on <laughs> what number is she on next tip is i got these um bath they're, they're not for the bath because the bath ones scare me sitting in i don't know like bath bombs i'm like ew you're sitting in that and you're with your naked body <laughs> these are shower ones <laughs> And they're little tabs, you open them and you put them in the, and you breathe it. And it smells nice and I like them. And this is fresh eucalyptus and they have individual packs of them. I will link this down below. I love this for healthy self care. It's a nice way to be grace, ease, refreshing, calming. Um, and the pouch is 100% biodegradable as well. So that's another one that's on my tips of, I took a shower. I got a hot shower. You could do a bath, whatever you want, just water. That is helping my muscles, my, cause I'm a little bit achy too. Achy, tired, run down. I feel kind of like I have the flu, but I don't, I don't. I didn't feel like yesterday I was like bouncing off the walls like Tigger. So it's like this crate, like that's not this, this having this is not normal for me. So next tip my electrolytes you guys know i am obsessed with element uh literally obsessed with them and so i'm gonna have an electrolyte but this morning i've literally just had water i don't feel like this i don't feel like it right now and so i'm going with what my body feels my body's telling me don't take an electrolyte right now I'll have it later so i i will have it later i usually have one to two actually on shot day of the pouches um and i'm not having any yet but i will i will um right now i just want clean water i don't feel so well that i even turned on coffee Clutch your pearls, honey. <laughs> I turned on coffee. If that tells you how not good I feel. <laughs> One of the other things for a water too is these were actually, I talked about these on my Amazon live show this week. I'll link this down below. They have the glass straws, four of them, the bamboo lids, and then also the straw cleaners. These are another great way to get water. You can put iced coffee in there. It's another way to do it just because I'm not eating in general with Manjaro. I've gotten into like drinks uh, like water um and decaf coffees and things like that more so because i'm not really eating but i want to have something that's fun and so these have been my solutions so that was my next tip next tip after that is i have made electrolyte ice and i'm obsessed and so i have electrolyte ice and then plain ice and then i have them in two different ones if you've not seen the way that i make my nugget ice now this is the round ball ice there's two different ones there's round ball ice and then there's nugget ice i have two different ones um when you do it you just push this down and make sure you push it and then it will squirt out the excess water like a camel watch out it spits um like a camel you squish it down and then that's how you know that the water it will make the actual balls like the spheres of them and then they do have these bigger ones and then smaller ones excuse me see i'm getting that reflux right there that's the reflux um that's one of the ways i know just to have plain stuff because i don't want as things are going up and down the way it just did there with a little bit of acid reflux mm, i just want plain water because i don't want things bouncing up and down yet i have not eaten yet today it's around 11 o'clock um and i won't um, I have meetings to later today that I cannot clear off my schedule. And so I'm going to attempt to try to look normal. Um, but I'll tell you what, with these bad boys, it really does take, it takes it out of me. It takes it out of me. And as a mom, I feel guilty. And as a wife, I feel guilty. And as a business owner and a worker and a contractor, <laughs> I feel, I feel um, guilty. I feel guilty. And I, 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 realize I need to slow down my pace a lot more than I already have. Um, I'm learning a lot about myself with Manjaro, a lot. I go at a high cadence rhythm and I like it, but I also realize I, I, I'm I allowing more gaps in there to slow it down. That's one of the things Manjaro weight loss is teaching me, is that I'm not superwoman, not that I ever claimed to be, because I'm certainly, hello, but slowing it down 
is beneficial for me. And using tools like these for me, like this is, I don't know, what, 10 bucks, 13 bucks, something like that, maybe, maybe $17. I have no, I don't, honestly don't remember what I bought for it, but like, but that like, just to get me into the right mindset, chill it down. I'm going to go listen to an audiobook later today in our paid encouragement group, which is amazing. By the way, we have weekly video chat calls and then we have a uh, Instagram group where we just chat every day to each other and uh, hold each other accountable and encourage. One of the group members had recommended about Atomic Habits and changing your lifestyle for who you want to be, which I have not read that book and uh, I don't want to say the person's name, but you know who you are if you're watching this video of who had recommended that. And so I'm, I'm really excited to listen to that on um, Amazon Audible. I'll put that down below too. Um, if you want to listen to it too, that one. And then there's another book recommended to me about um, slowing life down. Which I think can be hard and that's not the point of this video this point of this video is about Manjaro so I'll, I'll kind of get off that rift but it's Manjaro is not just the injection it's teaching me so much more about the woman I want to be and the healthy lifestyle like this is giving my life back and I want to live a really healthy lifestyle so one other thing I do want to say is I've talked about in other videos and I don't have, I was going to pull up the video B-roll and I don't think, no, I don't have it. I don't think I have it here. No, I don't have it. Is this it? The day no, before. that's not it. That's not it at all. Sorry, friends, if that was loud. Um, was meal prep of having hard boiled eggs downstairs that I've made my sous vide cooker. So I have like those things and I'll link those all down below. I've talked about them in other videos, having those pre done hard boiled eggs can stay in your refrigerator for five days. Uh, the sous vide bites that I make the mock, um, the faux Starbucks ones, I will link that down below too. You can freeze those like they're really simple stuff. So I'm going to have that for lunch later today. I'm going to have some protein, protein and vegetables. Um, and just Right now I'm not hungry at all and I'm not going to force feed myself anything either. Just giving my body the grace to rest, heal, and whatever this injection for this particular period. And I'm not titrating up by the way. I've been on 10 milligrams. This is my fifth 10 milligram, Majora 10 milligram. So it's not like I went up a level. And I'm praying by the way, and if you do pray, I would love your prayers of discernment and wisdom. Should I, if I feel like I'm ready to go up to 12.5 milligrams, I need to make that decision soon with my doctor. And I'm debating if I want to do that or stay at this level. I didn't realize with this particular, I ha have had not food cheddar coming back. I've just gotten not as full as I normally am. And so I was thinking the titrating up would help get that fullness back. I've been craving that fullness, quite frankly. Um, but I also have not had a recent lab blood work done in the last couple, like 17 weeks. So I need to have lab work. So I'm like, unless I get that lab blood work, I shouldn't titrate up. And that's for me, that's me speaking, not like, of course I never give medical advice and never interpret anything I say as medical advice, always talk to your own doctor. But that's the other thing I'm praying on. So would love your prayers for that too, of like, do I titrate up, but I ha should get blood work done. My doctors told me I should get blood work done, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time, like, uh, this is where I'm like, ah. So I'm confused. <laughs> and I think part of that is I need to rest and that will take away some of this confusion. So. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. If you've got not gotten my 125 um, protein ideas, the, the post, it's listed down below on my blog. Number two, get my free Majera weight loss success checklist. Number three, if you haven't signed up for my weekly email, I send emails on Mondays and Thursdays of encouragement and accountability. Um, and then number four, join the free encouragement group or there's the paid encouragement group if you need extra. Uh, truly, that group is a tight knit group. And so uh, you're going to get out what you put in. If you put out, oh, you know, if you're actively engaged, you're going to get a lot more back than the $9.99 a month that it costs. It's under 10 bucks, uh, less than two cups of Starbucks coffee. But if you don't engage, then you're not going to get anything out of it. Um, and then we have the free group, which is amazing too, by the way. People like that group is also, it's amazing, but in a different capacity too. So I'm so grateful. Bottom line is even though I'm really tired, I'm really, really grateful. Manjaro at the end of the day has losing 47 pounds and getting out of this food he double hockey stick what a blessing what a blessing so next video i hope to be a little bit more peppy but i wanted to come on here and just keep it real keep it real how i'm feeling so be kind to yourself be kind to others i'm countess of shopping count my blessings because life is delicious and all of my links will be listed down below bye guys